Hi friends, host Eric here, host Talking to Fence People, and I want to talk this evening in the last video of the night, I suspect. I'm going to crash out pretty soon, but I want to talk a little bit about waiting. Waiting is something that's challenging for me. I don't like to wait. <sighs> waiting and I don't get along that well. So... I was sitting here reflecting on that fact that I feel I'm very much in a waiting stage right now, waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, and some of this concrete stuff, waiting for money to come through and stuff like that, which is annoying. I hate being broke. I can't make shit happen. It's a temporary state, but it's like could be it could be broke till the middle of September. I mean, I probably get some cash rolling before then, but it's, ugh, I freaking hate it. I could be doing shit to make more money too, but I'm being. I was gonna say I'm being lazy, but I'm not being lazy. I'm just focusing all my attention on this, talking to some people. I mean, long term it's a wise thing to do, I think. To put energies into this. But you know. That's a short wait anyway. That, that kind of waiting is annoying, but not a big deal. It's not a big metaphysical kind of waiting. What's really challenging is There's a bigger waiting. There's a bigger waiting that says, I'm waiting for a certain life. I haven't gotten yet. Certainly, it involves a coupling. Um, <laughs> it involves a clean start of sorts. You know, moving out of this house, I've lived here forever. It's a rental, you know, I've rented this place for fucking ever. I've rented it for 18, 19 years or something. It involves a linear progression. Progress towards a goal of some sort. But wait and wait and wait, I do. I have a sense that if I can just and just get everything to come together like I want it to, then I could be set up properly or something. Like, okay, well now I can survey and see what I want to do. But it's never like that. It's never like that. You never reach that spot of, okay, now I can rest and survey and see what I'm going to do. You just never reach that spot. No. I was struck by by the challenges that we face, the humans face, talking with not host Mark tonight was discouraging a little bit because I'm not an anti-theist, I'm not trying to oppose metaphysics, but I am trying to oppose arbitrary distinctions and we know we have relativism to deal with but it's not really the real problem the real problem is utilitarianism and it's more relativistic incarnations and then you got this what 
I'm the relativist? <sighs> I can tell, again, the reason sometimes people get frustrated arguing with me is they want and expect me to argue different points that I'm arguing. They know what arguments they can counter, but I'm not making those arguments. Those are the arguments that are ordinarily made for something. So I'm not normally going to make those. You know, if you wanted me to be an atheist, I'm not. You wouldn't be a relativist, but I mean, mine's way more consistent and less relative than his, so I don't know what to say about that. It's like, that's sort of the tough, tough road you gotta hoe if you're gonna come up with a faulty premise to begin with, which is that religious belief is logically supported rather than non rational. I mean, you can say it's rational from a behavioral standpoint, like, well, it's a rational behavior to engage in because it produces good outcomes, but. You certainly can't call it rational uh, in any other meaningful definition of the word because, I mean,. The idea behind reason, rationality, is that there's a way to determine these things, you know? And the problem with citing religious texts as you got to enforce is, I mean, first of all, we weren't arguing where you wanted us to argue. So, you wanted to prove God's existence, but nobody was disputing that. What you didn't like, and is understandable, is the fact that I'm able to achieve all the gains of faith without all the extra shit that you got. So, and you didn't like that. You didn't want that to be to count as faith somehow. But the thing you're talking about doesn't count as faith. It's not faith. It's there's no reason why those words have different meaning. Faith means believing anyway, not believing because. Anyhow, the challenge then is we get people to understand that if they come in with an, a position they're advocating and they are going to try to present arguments in defense of that position, they're doing it backwards. Right? And so, I don't know, I mean, Well, I thought what was interesting about that conversation was how he'd never encountered a true thinker before, basically, which is the way to put it, because he kept trying to talk about, like, you know, arguments that just didn't withstand any muster. You know, the courtroom. Oh, well, if I'm in front, why should I prefer your interpretation of my murderous behavior than my own? Well, because that's what the framework says, you know I mean? That's what you're claiming, too. You're claiming the same mechanism. Well, we should prefer God's because of the framework. But your framework's shitty. It's super shitty. It doesn't work. 
And at the end of the day, it's all arbitrary. If you are going to base policy decisions on your personal revelations, it's all arbitrary. I'm super tired. I'm waiting. <sighs> waiting for what? I don't know. It's been a weird day with all the emotions and stuff. It's, it just, it like, takes, takes me to bed almost. Almost. Not quite. Because before I go to bed, I've got to sing about the Caballeros, the Caballeros. Yay, 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 it's Mexican cowboy from here to eternity. Now that you know about that, um, what else do you need to know about? Lots of things. Sport Hands. Sport Hands is in town for a limited time. He's doing a set of gigs, and then he's going to be going on to New York. But uh, if you want to see him, he's in town. He's hilarious. He's a prop comic. He only has one joke. It's the fist bump joke. Fist bump. Pow. So. <sighs> to wait. To be somewhere other than existentially present, of course. I need to wait for the present. <sighs> to have some sort of plans. Some sense of a self liberated by money and or woman and or bigger house or better storage and I don't know I want to have another kid that's the thing I'm waiting for I want to do it right I want to do the family thing right start to finish Four twenty one in the morning. It's really time to go to bed. I think Mark's interest in in claiming the logical ground continues to baffle me a little bit. It seems to feel as though if he's arguing on behalf of religion against somebody else that he must be arguing against people who are going to say we should prioritize logic. But he's making a big mistake coming in with logic like that because he's saying oh we're going to draw logical conclusions. But when I point out the some logical flaws and stuff then and you sort of kept falling to the terms of like well if you want to if you want to settle into illogical arguments what do you mean I mean illogical is such a funny word it means not adhering to the, co the con constraints of logic but Really, what we mean by it is you're using poor reasoning of some kind. Um, and that's the thing is that one of the most commonly used kinds of poor reasoning is uh, begging the question. But they don't seem to understand necessarily that if you beg the question, then and you can't seem to get out of that, can't get around the begging the question problem. And that means you've got a non-rational model. 
That's okay. You can have those, but you should know what they are. Don't don't mistake your non-rational models for your rational models. It's not dismissive to say that your your religious models are non non-rational. It's descriptive. They're supposed to be non-rational. Anyway, I understand you think about religion differently than all this, but um, yeah, it's that's not what you're supposed to do with God, dude. That's not what you're supposed to do with him at all. That's just, it's like. What goes on between you and God stays with you and God. So, when other people tell me they understand better what goes on between me and God, I think to myself, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs>